the diverse interests that have a relationship with this property and to a person. Everyone wanted to ensure that appropriate management was taken to protect the sensitive resources here. Secretary Salazar heard that and took that message back to the White House. And today we're celebrating the designation of the Fort Ord National Monument. There's but you're also here because Fort Ord speaks to us as to who we are as Americans. By dedicating Fort Ord on Armed Service Day, we, spa we pay special tribute to the many generations of American heroes who trained and served here. And we are reminded that with service members in harm's way around the world, we must recommit ourselves to supporting them and supporting their families. Today is about land and about people. On one, one level, we are here in uh, Palarcitos Canyon. We're here because the president gave us this new name, Fort Ord National Monument. And in so doing, recommended the federal government to use the wise management of open spaces of flora and fauna in history. I, I, everyone has talked about what an incredible place this is and the, uh, the just the tremendous opportunity and value of the resources here for recreation and hiking and biking. I'm jealous of all the bikers here. Um, and of course the rich military history uh, that, that you've heard about and that you all know very well. And what a gift the President has given all of us that this opportunity for your kids and their kids to have that same connection and experience to God's creation, that special time of solitude, of reflection, of curiosity, and, and what a gift to have this happen, not in a remote area, but in an area where the community can come together and collectively have that experience. Phenomenal. So with that, why don't we formally dedicate this national monument.